In this video, I'll show you what I use to store and transport my Mini Zs. Let's go. Hi, I'm Jarvis. Thanks for tuning in to another video. So these are the three storage cases I use to transport my Mini Zs. The first one is this Kyosho pit box. This is my main storage case and it's not easy to find these days. So when I came across it in a local online hobby shop two years ago, I scooped it up straight away. It feels nice and sturdy. It's got a large compartment at the top and three drawers of storage at the bottom. So it's good for carrying most of my gear. Let's take a look inside. The lid is secured using these two latches. Inside the lid, I have foam inserts holding two of my cars, my MR03 Evo on the left and my RTA on the right. In the middle is a container holding various screws. I have a foam mat in the middle which acts as padding and I also use it as a pit mat. Under the foam mat are four more cars separated by foam dividers, three MR03s and one GLF one. Let's take a look at the drawers. The panel at the front folds down and can be used to hold loose bits. In the top drawer, I have some tools, tapes, brushes and pens. The second drawer houses my screwdrivers, mini Z foam stands and extra parts such as body nose clips, pinion gears, wheel nuts and other small bits. The large drawer at the bottom is where I keep a few larger items such as Kyosho grease, some glues, a couple more mini Z stands, my AAA battery charger, a tool stand from KWR Engineering and this battery case that I got from Amazon which holds all my AAA batteries. So that's my Kyosha pit box and there is another fishing tackle box available that my club member Rob found. It's called the Versus VS8010 and it's almost identical to the Kyosha pit box. The only difference is in the drawers. It has four shallow drawers instead of two shallow and one large drawer. So you might be a bit limited on what you can fit in it, but it's still a good alternative to the Kyosho pit box. Now onto the next storage box. In this box, I have a couple of spare body shells just in case I need a spare one on race day. I use this Versus container to store my LiPo batteries. And then this small container is just full of random assorted Mini Z parts. I use this larger Versus container to store my wheels and tires. I try to keep them organized by using labels to arrange them by wheel offsets and tire compounds. And I'm still looking at ways to improve this setup. However, this system works well for now. I have another container here full of spare wheels and tires still in packaging, just in case I need some more. And I have this small container here holding my RTRC sidewall discs. Finally, my last storage case is a Tactics heavy duty hard case holding my transmitters. I have four stock transmitters. I only need one for box stock class and I carry the other three as spares. And here I have my Flysky Noble NB4 held nice and secure in this case. So that's my whole setup. Now let me show you what it looks like on a race day. So this is what my setup looks like on a race day or what it's supposed to look like. It's not usually this neat, but this is how I try to set it up. Anyway, thanks for watching my video on how I store my Mini Z's. Before you go, let me show you some body shells I've recently acquired. So this is the Lamborghini Yota Miura. It's chrome red and it's limited edition, saying one of 1500 pieces. And yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Next up is this Vitaphone Racing Team. Aston Martin DBR9 really like the color scheme on this one and finally I got this Golf Racing McLaren F1 GTR that looks amazing anyway thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next video